Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Andrew, the CEO of Quantata, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the options heat map. So let's get right into it. We're going to cover why you should use the options heat map, what the options heat map is, where you can access the heat map on the Quantata platform, how you can use the options heat map to contribute to your trading strategy. We're going to go over a case study on SPY, and we're going to go over a second case study also on SPY. So let's get right into why you should use the options heat map. One thing to note about options is that they have this supposed predictive power, right? So this predictive power of options activity in correlation to the stock market has actually been observed through numerous studies. And within this theoretical proposition of cross market predictability, it has been observed that out of the money options actually provide insight into short term price corrections in the underlying. Yukionis, a prominent researcher, actually confirmed theoretical arguments that were proposed by other researchers one of them being Easley and others in 1998 and Anne and others in 2014. And these studies that were confirmed were on the cross market predictability of options uh, within the stock market. Basically, he demonstrated that the options market can lead the stock market with respect to both negative and positive price discovery. So these studies demonstrate that the options prices can contain predicting inform price predicting information about the underlying stock. So why is this important in the context of the options heat map? And as demonstrated in this research, options prices have actually been proven to contain this price predicting information about the underlying. So by using the options heat map, we can actually see a visual depiction of the concentration of activity in the strikes surrounding the current price of the underlying in real time. So before we move into how you can actually use the options heat map to create a directional bias or prediction about some particular underlying, we're going to go over what the options heat map actually is. So a heat map is a visual depiction of some variable of interest over two axis variables. And a heat map typically has some color and the color of the cell in the heat map indicates some value relative to the corresponding axis variables. In the options heat map on the quant data platform, our main variable of interest is the net premium of calls and puts for a particular security. The two axis variables in our heat map are the strike price, which is seen on the X axis and the expiration date, which is seen on the Y axis. In the example off to the right hand side here, you can actually see this net premium of calls and puts for SPY on the 8th of September 2022, right? You can see that each cell represents a numeric value that is representative of the net value for calls and puts for that particular contract. And additionally, a corresponding color accompanies this numeric value. And this color indicates whether the net premium is leaning towards the call side, in which case it would be green, or the put side, in which case it would be red. The heat map cells are actually brighter if they have a higher relative percentage of net premium than the surrounding cells. So if we look if we look at the example on the right side here, this is SPY on September 8th, as I previously mentioned, and we could see that on the X axis, we have the different strike prices of SPY. And on the Y axis, we have the different expiration dates on SPY. Each cell is a contract at that strike for that expiration date. So if we look at this cell right here, the, the brightest green cell that we have on this image, um, we see that it's at the $400 strike for the September 9th, 2022 expiration. And we can see that the variable of interest value, which is that net premium, is over $35 million in net premium to the call side because it's green. 
And as you can see, this is this cell is the brightest green that we have on this picture, because if we look at the surrounding values or the surrounding contracts, we can see that their net premium is nowhere near that 35 million. And so basically what we're seeing is this concentration of activity on the chain in real time, right? You're, you know, you're watching this, this net premium value increase or decrease in real time, right? And you know, the colors may flip and change accordingly to how that net premium value is increasing or decreasing. So in, you know, in addition to seeing these values here, you can actually hover over a cell to reveal more information about a particular contract. On the right hand side, you can see an example of this. When you hover over any cell on the heat map, you'll be provided with this additional information. The information includes the call premium, put premium, and net premium values, the call volume, put volume, and net volume values, as well as the call open interest, put open interest, and net open interest values. So if you, know, let's say you're looking at the concentration of activity over you know three strike prices. Let's say you're looking at three strikes from $400 to 403 on SPY. You can hover over any of those contracts and you'll be able to see this information for those specific contracts. So that is what the options heat map is in its simplest form, right? It's a visual depiction of that options chain. So you can see the concentration of activity in real time. So let's go ahead and move on. So where can you access this options heat map? If you go to quantdata.us and you sign up for a free seven day trial, you'll be able to access the full options heat map for any ticker that trades options in the stock market. And it is found on the chain and OI analysis page. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to the quant data platform and I'll show you how you can use the options heat map tool on the, on the platform itself. So let's switch right over. So once you're on the quant data platform, you'll want to go ahead and navigate to the sidebar on the left hand side and click the button that says chain and OI analysis. It should be the second button from the top. Once you click this page, it'll take you to the chain and OI analysis tools page. On this page, you'll see we have the options heat map, OI by strike, total OI change, max pain, and max pain over time. What I like to do when I'm using the options heat map is actually just drag it down so it takes up the full page. And this way you can see more of that heat map and it's, it's a little more vis visually appealing. What I then do is I move over to where the biggest concentration is, which is typically surrounding the current price. And then you'll see that we have the values of interest on the options heat map. You know, we have our access variables here, which is a strike price and expiration date. And then we have the net premium in each cell for those contracts, right? And we can hover over any of these cells and we can see the differing data points for those specific contracts. So we're going to move back to the slideshow and we're going to continue on with how you can actually use this data um, to contribute to your trading strategy. Now that we're back to the slideshow, let's get right into how you can actually use this data in your trading strategy. Traders may use options contracts to disguise information in the presence of uninformed traders, or they might take advantage of the information they possess by benefiting from the higher leverage of options contracts. With this in mind, I've created a set of things to look for on the heat map that can contribute to a directional bias in your analysis. The first thing to look for is an increased concentration of activity on out of the money strikes. Since out of the money contracts are more likely to contain price predicting information, we need to place an emphasis on the activity surrounding them. The second thing is that price corrections due to cross market information gaps are typically quick and occur within the same day or overnight. So knowing this, when we're observing the chain for increased activity concentration, we want to focus on short term expiries and be cognizant of the fact that these price corrections can happen very quickly. 
The third thing that we want to keep in mind uh, when we're looking at the options heat map is that the more prevalent the concentration of activity, the more likely it is that the price will be attracted to that particular zone of interest. For example, if five out of the money strikes are receiving abnormally high net premiums on the call side, this information is going to be more significant than if only one strike were to receive an abnormally high net premium. We want to focus on the areas that have larger concentration, not just on specific strikes that have random increased activity, right? We want to look at groups of data that contain higher concentrations of net premium. The fourth thing to keep in mind is that ETFs such as SPY are commonly used to hedge positions. As a result, an institution rebalancing a position or creating a hedged position, that activity can skew the activity within the heat map. So if we're focusing on increased areas of concentration, as I mentioned, we should be doing in the third thing on our checklist, uh, by focusing on those areas, you shouldn't have to worry too much about these hedged or rebalanced positions because we're focusing on groups of repetitive activity in, in concentration over multiple strikes. The fifth thing that you'll want to keep in mind is you want to use the heat map in confluence with other high conviction mark data tools. You, know, you don't want to ever just use one tool and make a decision based off of one tool. Use other analysis, use other tools, use other things that can help contribute to your directional bias in a particular underlying. So with all of that being said, let's move into our first case study, which actually happened on SPY. So in this image here, this image was taken at 9.40 a.m. on September 2nd of 2022. Just 10 minutes into the open, uh, you can see the obvious concentration of activity on the out of the money calls at this time. The current price of SPY at this time was hovering around $392.17. The 391 through 397 strikes were heating up with call activity. Again, this is just 10 minutes into open and we could already see this concentration of activity right here to the upside. So we saw that this, this uh, concentration of activity was on the call side and we saw that it was again focused on those short-term expiries so it met all of the criteria on our checklist because we see concentration over multiple strikes we see the activity is more so focused on the short dated expiries and we also see a large amount of concentration right we have some size just 10 minutes into the open as a result you can see in this chart of spy here that SPY pushed all the way to $394 shortly after the heat map image was taken and posted within our community. The heat map on SPY continued to receive large amounts of activity throughout the day, which indicated a strong bullish directional bias. As a result, SPY actually ended up pushing all the way to $398 on that day. So in this scenario, the heat map actually remained bullish throughout the day with the concentration of activity receiving more and more net premium as the day went on. This may not always be the case, but it is possible that the concentration of activity reverts intraday. In that situation, you want to adjust your you want to adjust your positions accordingly. That's what makes the heat map so strong is that in real time, you can actually see these switches and concentration of activity. You can see where the market information is flowing and you can use your other tools to confirm and to enter and exit based on this bias. And that's really what makes the heat map so powerful is the ability to see where the concentration of activity lies in that options chain. So that was the first example. In this example, you know, we pushed the rest of the day and it was great. Let's move on to our second example. The second example is also on SPY. This image of the heat map here was taken at 9.44 a.m. 
on September 6 of 2022. 14 minutes into the open, you can see the obvious concentration of activity on the out of money strikes for SPY. At this time, the price of SPY was hovering around $392.31. The 388 to $393 strikes, these five strikes right here, were heating up with put activity very obviously just 14 minutes into open. As a result, you can see in the image below that SPY broke down all the way to $388 shortly after the heat map image was taken and posted within our community. What I like about this particular example is that the concentration of activity began to switch to the call side later in that day after we had that four point drop. And as a result, SPY actually reversed back to the upside. And that's why I wanted to put this case study up here and show you this case study. Because in this scenario, the heat map not only provided a fantastic opportunity to trade the near four point move to the downside, but this example also demonstrated how quickly the price can correct and reverse as we previously discussed. And that's again why the heat map is such a powerful tool. Because when price is re reversing or is about to reverse, because again, options have this ability this price predicting ability what we see on the heat map is we actually see that transition of the concentration of activity switching from the put side to the call side or we might see the put side activity decreasing or slowing down and those are all indications that either the move is is weakening or that we're going to see a reversal soon and that's exactly what happened in this example we had that incredible indication of a downside push and then we had a four point drop to the downside and then boom the concentration of activity switched and we reversed to the upside so it just goes to show you how observing the activity on the chain in real time gives you insight into how the price might move and that's again why this tool is so powerful but obviously any tool has its strengths and its weaknesses you know as you practice and as you learn to use the options heat map you'll get better and better with it but it's amazing for really identifying these areas of concentration or this concentration of activity for a particular options chain. Thank you for watching this video. I know it was a bit of a longer one because there was a lot to cover. Don't forget to read our article on the options heat map as well. It'll be linked in the bio. It covers a lot of the same information we presented in this video, but it's, you know, it's great to go just read through that again and, and really absorb that information. Also, the checklist that I had posted on the slides here is also can also be found in the article so make sure you check that out additionally you know if you if you happen to like the video feel free to like subscribe whatever don't forget to join our free community by clicking the link in the bio with all that being said have a great day and i appreciate you guys stopping by and watching my video take care and don't forget to sign up for a free seven day trial